Hi everyone. In this exercise, we are going to see how to perform cross validation and use it to select the best model. We're also going to see, investigate a phenomena called the wires wave variance decom decomposition. But before we begin, uh, you should copy your code which you have wrote in your previous exercise two and exercise three. Uh, you should copy the least squares function which you wrote in exercise two into this function here. Similarly, you should also copy the functions you wrote for ridge regression as well as the split data into these two files. Now to start off, you have to fill in the code here in this function. This function computes the, is supposed to compute the test and the train error corresponding to one subgroup of cross-validation. So this means it takes the y values as well as the x values as input. This is the entire training data. It also takes in a set of indices, the k indices, as well as, well as the regression parameter lambda and the degree which you should use for running the polynomial regression. So these k indices correspond to the kth subgroup, which you should use as your test data set. Everything else, so all the other indices which are not in this k indices should be used as your trained data set. So using this test and train data set, you should run a polynomial rich regression using degree and lambda as parameters. And then, you should compute your uh, train and uh, test data loss and return these as outputs. In this function, we will basically repeatedly call this cross-validation function. So we will run a polynomial rich regression with degree seven and the regularization parameter changing in uh, 10 from 10 from minus four, 10 to the minus four to one. For each of these uh, polynomial rich regression problem, we will perform k fold, here four fold cross validation. This means that we will split the data set into four parts and in each and run the cross validation uh, and call the cross validation function four times each time using a different part as the, train, uh, as the test data set. So you should copy your, uh, you should store the train and the test data set which you have computed for each of the lambda into this array. And then these will be later used for visualization. You should, on correctly implementing the code, you should see a plot which looks something like this. Here, of course, depending on the exact way you've coded, uh, you may not match this plot exactly because cross-validation performs a random split of the data. And depending on your NumPy version, the split may not exactly match. In the second part, Instead of varying the regularization parameter lambda, we will vary the degree of our polynomial regression and see how it affects uh, the code, how is pretty much the same as before. And we will repeatedly call uh, this cross validation function here to compute the mean cross validation, uh, mean of the RMSE train and the RMSE test. We will run this hundred times with hundred different splits of the train and the of the cross validation data set and plot how uh, each of these uh, the train and the test uh, error changes as we change increase the degrees of the polynomial regression you should look you should get a plot which looks something like this so here in the thick 
lines represents the mean across these 100 repetitions of our cross validation. Whereas the washed out uh, lines represent the all the each individual runs. So the width of this uh, of each color represents the variance and uh, the thick line represents the mean. Notice how the variance changes as we increase the degree here. So you can also, uh, the exercise also has a lot of bonus questions which ask you to not just compute the cross-validation to compute the mean errors, but also to compute the variance of these errors. Hope to see you all on Thursday.